Hi guys, welcome to another video on ADF and this time we'll be discussing about Azure Key Vault. My name is Lokesh and the agenda of this video is to help you understand how you can use Azure Key Vault in order to make a connection between Azure Data Factory and any of the sources or the destinations. In this particular video, we'll be using Amazon S3 bucket, but you could make a connection using the similar process to Azure Blob or Azure SQL Database. So we'll look into that. We'll do the practical as always, which is uh, which is always interesting. But before we do that, uh, let's first explore what we are trying to do here. So what we are trying to do here is we will store the Amazon bucket secret key inside your Azure Key Vault. And then using the Azure Key Vault, we will make a connection from the ADF so that ADF directly is referring to the Azure Key Vault and not referring to or not using the Amazon S3 credentials because it's always recommendable by the Microsoft that you use Azure Key Vault to keep the uh, sensitive information or the credentials that you don't want to expose uh, to the client. So we'll uh, look into that. But before we do that, let's briefly discuss what Azure Key Vault is. Azure Key Vault is nothing but a safe. You can consider this a safe where you can keep three different type of information. The first one is keys. Now the keys refers to the uh, the encryption keys that you use in or that you deal with uh, in Azure SQL databases or in other applications. So it has to be encrypted or de decrypted. So that is the main point in this. And then comes the secrets. Now secrets are hard coded passwords. So just like you have a password for your uh, email account, which is a fixed connection string. So you will use that in order to save the information in secrets. And especially for this particular case, we are using the Amazon buckets secret access key or the access key secret, which will be using that in order to, uh, in order to uh, display or in order to do the practical for today. And then comes the C certificates. I think this, these are uh, a little complicated in the sense that these are used by the uh, applications and to do various jobs. So this is it guys. So this is uh, the Azure keyword, how it looks like. And in terms of uh, what things we will be covering today is that we'll start with provisioning a Azure Key Vault account. We'll be starting from scratch. We'll create a new Azure Key Vault account. I'll be taking you uh, through the properties that are required to create a new Key Vault account. Then we will look into the, uh, then we will try to save the Amazon S3 buckets secret in, inside this Key Vault account. And then we'll jump onto the ADF and we'll try to establish a connection using this secret that we've just created in Azure Key Vault account. So now having set the agenda, it's important that we do the practical. So let's jump onto the practical guys and uh, we'll explore all of these. Uh, we'll see all of these points in action. So let's do that. So we are back with the practical part of this video. And the prerequisites are that you need to have an active Azure subscription. And uh, along with that, the ADF account should already be uh, created because we are not going to create the uh, ADF account again. So now the first step is to create Azure Key Vault. So for that, we will type Azure Key Vault here. I think uh, there is no need to type Azure. So Key Vault has come up. So just select that and uh, we will be provisioning a new Key Vault account. So we'll see what details are required. I think not uh, much details are required. These are just normal details that you need to fill in in any uh, account creation. So as you can see, the first one is subscription. We have uh, set it to pay as you go, the subscription that you're using. Then the resource group that we'll be using is RG 2027-19. Key Vault name, uh, so, this, so this is the unique name that you need to assign to your Key Vault. So let's say we will give it Lokesh Test 26th of August. And uh, then Region, we will uh, leave it to East US. Pricing tier standard. Let's see how much uh, it costs us. Uh, I'm not really sure how much it costs in terms of different tiers, but let's go with the uh, standard one for now. 
and then you have days to retain deleted vaults so we'll say 90 so we'll keep all the things as default we're not going to change anything here then click on review and create and uh, just go through the summary here nothing special and then create on sorry click on create so let's see it will take some time I think it will take some seconds for it to get provisioned so after this is provisioned we will save the secret so remember guys I told you in the beginning that you can store three types of information in your Azure Key Vault that is keys, secrets and certificates. In this particular case we will be saving or keeping the secrets and the secret would be of Amazon S3 bucket. So it's underway and in the meantime in a separate window let me try to fetch the details of the Amazon S3 and uh, so that when it's ready so yeah so the uh, azure key vault account locate test 26 august is ready aug is ready so we'll go into the uh, the account and on the left side you can see that under the settings option on the under the settings node you have three uh, main main features that is keys secrets and certificates and uh, as per the, uh, the as per the explanation that I showed you initially, but our job is to create secrets or to keep secrets here. So we'll click on secrets, and uh, let me just fetch the Amazon S3 bucket secret here. I've kept it on a notepad. So let me get the secret access key, and we will create a secret here. So there are two ways to create a secret uh, I'm not sure how we can use the certificate this is something that needs to be researched in the coming videos but we'll go and select manual here and let's say we will give it as uh, s3 bucket secret with today's date in it and uh, this is the place where you will be pasting or entering whatever secret that you want to store in this case this will be the Amazon S3 buckets secret access key so we'll be storing that so this is the content type I think this is mostly used when you have or where you're storing the uh, keys uh, so again I'm not really uh, I mean sure how uh, or what properties it will have but uh, let's let's leave it there and you can specify the activation date and the expiration date as well for the uh, secrets that you're creating but we will not specify it for the for this demo and then we'll click on create now I think the secret has been created successfully uh, what we will do now is we will open the Amazon sorry we will open the ADF account and guys the job in this particular practical is not to get the uh, data transfer we just want to see whether we can establish a connection to the Amazon S3 bucket using the secret or using the Azure Key Vault secret and uh, let's click on this data factory account that we have created so you would would need a data factory account to be already created we'll go into the author and monitor so remember guys uh, if you want to check the connection or the connectivity you can you have to use the linked service because linked service is nothing but your connection string so that's why we'll be trying to create a linked service here so we'll go into the manage tab and then click on the new button icon or the new button and the source or the let's, let's not call it a source uh, the place or where we have kept our information is Amazon S3 bucket so we'll try to establish a connect connection to Amazon S3 then click on continue uh, we are not concerned about the name here uh, then comes a place where you have to select the integration runtime which is nothing but your compute infrastructure we have already discussed that in our first video so we will be we can use the auto resolve integration runtime or cloud integration runtime both are 
Azure integration runtime will you will be using the cloud integration runtime in this case and uh, we will now specify the access key ID so if you are not aware guys in order to make the connectivity in order to access the things that are stored on Amazon S3 you need an access key ID and a secret access key secret access key is something that is uh, a password which has to be uh, uh, sensitive which is sensitive which has to be preserved or saved somewhere so access key ID is a unique ID so we will specify the access key ID here now you see here we have two options either to select the secret access key or we can use Azure Key Vault so for this particular practical we are going to use Azure Key Vault so select this now we'll have to create an Azure Key Vault linked service so we will create a new linked service and uh, let's not worry about the name here and uh, we want it to automatically give us the Azure Key Vault we have which we just have created so you can see that the Key Vault account is coming up in the uh, drop down so we'll select that and test the connection and the connection has been established so we'll create it now comes the secret name so for this we'll have to browse to the Azure Key Vault account and fetch the secret name this is the secret name guys so get that secret name and put it here now as far as uh, the ADF is concerned the job is done uh, we so what we have done is we have created a new linked service AKV linked service which will help us in in connecting to the Amazon S3 bucket and which will uh, uh, so which will in turn create a new linked service so you'll have two li two linked services one will be the AKV or the Azure Key Vault linked service and the other one will be the Amazon S3 linked service but nowhere here you are specifying the secret access key which secret access key is stored or kept in the Amazon S3 sorry in the Azure Key Vault so we'll see whether the connection is successfully established or not so we are getting some error here and let's try to see the details of this error so this is talking uh, something on the lines of the access policy I think uh, uh, you will you will see the access policy yeah you will see the access policy mentioned here so whenever so what it means is that the ADF account is not able to establish a connection to the secret so there is something called access policy which has to be set so in this case the principle is or the securable principle is or the principle that is trying to establish a connection is your ADF account but uh, the securable is your uh, Azure, sorry, Azure Key Vault secret. So we'll have to establish an access policy so that these two entities can make a connection with each other. So we'll, uh, I'm sorry if it's not making sense, but what basically is happening is the ADF account is not able to establish a connection with the secret which is kept in the Azure Key Vault. So for that purpose, we'll have to add an access policy and uh, we want the get permission from here so we will select the get permission in all the three uh, drop downs and then you will have to select the principal so as I mentioned the principal in this case is ADF because ADF is some uh, something that is trying to make a connection or get details from this Azure Key Vault account so we will select the brown bag DF so here you just have to type the name of the ADF account and it will come under the uh, drop down and or, or it will show up so you just select that and this is this ID that you see at the bottom is nothing but the uh, application ID of the ADF account which can be found in here as well uh, you can see that this application ID 2F98 which starts with 2F98 is the same that you find it here so we'll select the brown bag DF and then click on the select button and then click on add and then we'll just save the changes 
now we have established an access policy which means that the ADF account can make a connection to the secret that is kept in Azure Key Vault and let's try to see whether the connection is established or not you see guys the connection has been established which means that we have set up the access policy correctly and then we'll click on create so here what has happened is uh, just to give a brief idea we have been able to connect to the Amazon S3 bucket with the help of an Azure Key Vault and in terms of the database uh, in terms of the objects that are created at the ADF end is you have two linked services one is Azure Key Vault uh, linked service and the other one is Amazon S3 linked service so this is it guys so this was the experiment or the practical where we uh, try to establish a connection to the MS3, Amazon S3 bucket using an Azure Key Vault. I hope it makes sense. It was something new to me. I came across this particular scenario only last week. And I, I think as uh, we, we use more of Azure Cloud or Microsoft Azure Cloud, we will be using the Azure Key Vault more frequently because as I said or mentioned in the beginning of the video as well, this is very important if we want to save information which is sensitive in nature so we'll be using that uh, as we uh, go along so i'll be sharing the uh, practical scenarios where we had to do that or where we had to use azure key vault in the upcoming videos so i hope uh, this video made sense to you uh, just try to do the practical and if you have any queries anything that i might have missed or might have uh, not covered in a proper way just comment in the comment box below and i'll be uh, I mean, happy to discuss more on that. So we'll meet in the next video, guys. Till then, to take good care of yourself and stay safe. Bye, guys.